If you ever wonder what people do to stay organized at work, here's a walkthrough of the automatic task tracker that I use personally to stay organized at my job. Whenever I have a new task added to my workload throughout the week, I'll go to the bottom section of the tracker and I'll insert a row. I'll drag down the automatic counter and then select the task type. In this case, it's unplanned since I did not know about it at the beginning of the week. After that, I'll add the task details, and this is usually pretty short just to remind myself later what to do. Then I'll select not started and choose a priority. Then I'll add a link if it exists, and then choose what area of my position this task is related to. I can add additional notes, and then the value add, which is how this task brings value to the company. When I add the task, the timestamp is automatically added under tasks added. And when I select pending, a timestamp is automatically added under task started. If I want to reorder the rows, all I have to do is just click on the row and drag it. And when I complete the task, I'll mark it as done, and it will automatically be deleted from this task list and moves to the bottom of the done tab. And that gives me a single view of every single task that I've completed. On the visualizations tab, I'm able to see a breakdown of exactly what tasks I'm completing each week as well as month. I can see the task focus, the task priority, and the task type. And this is just a good snapshot to make sure I'm focusing in the right areas. If I can't complete a task right now, I can mark a task as parked, and it will automatically be removed from the task list and moved to the bottom of the park list. And the park list allows me to keep an eye on the task and not forget about it, but not clutter up my task list. When I'm ready to complete the task, I'll simply mark that task as ready, and it will be removed from the park list and added to the bottom of the task list. And then from there, I'll just work it as normal. The top section is where my recurring tasks sit, and those work exactly like the other ones do. The only difference is when I mark it as done, it will not automatically be deleted from the task list because we need it again for next week. But it is copied down to the bottom of the done tab, so it's still reflected in the visualizations as well as the completed counter. And with this counter, I can see exactly how many tasks I've completed this week. It's super easy to update the tracker each week. All you have to do is change any unplanned tasks to planned tasks now that you know about them, change any recurring tasks that are completed back to not started, and double click on the week start date and change that to the Monday of next week. So that's a full walkthrough of how to use the automatic task tracker that I use to stay organized at work. There's a full tutorial if you'd like to build it, or you can go to my shop to buy it already made.